Well, fans, Mark Hall, your 2010 Monster Truck Thunder Drags champion. Mark, you know, we started out Springfield, Missouri as one of our first episodes of the year, very first Jambo of the year, and we talked about this year was going to be even tougher than usual because you know that Bigfoot came back, you know, they were ready to rock and roar this season, and they stayed right with you here to the final weekend, and they had a shot to get it. I mean, they would have had to win all three, but you just went ahead, wrapped it up Friday, took a big racing win. Tell us how it feels to wrap up another championship here. Well, I'll be real honest with you. I'm glad it's done. I, I knew... I knew the points were tight, but you know, I'll be real honest. I try not to get too wrapped up in the points. I feel like we'll just go and, and try to win all the races. And you know, it's foolish to think that way, but we, we certainly try to win them all. And then, you know, if you can do that, do your best you can, uh, you know, the points will take care of themselves. But uh, yeah, it's good. You know, so now it's just uh, fun the rest of the weekend. We can just go out here and kind of relax and have a good time with it. Well, definitely. Now, Mark, uh, one of the things that, you know, sports people ask, you know, athletes and drivers a lot is about their legacies. And, you know, you're you're putting together a pretty impressive one. You still got a lot of years left in the tank here, but definitely one of the most championship winning drivers of all time. And, uh, you know, maybe one of these days when they get a Monster Truck Hall of Fame together, you're definitely looking at uh, first ballot inductee, something along those lines. Well, I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. I, I've, I've never really thought about that. We just uh, try to go out there and do the best we can each time. But uh, but thank you. That sounds pretty cool. And, uh, you know, like I say, I have a, I have a a great team behind me, great sponsors of Ram Trucks, and uh, they take good care of us, and we try to make those guys proud of us and, and, and we just keep working hard at it. Well, we've been talking about the championship, but we haven't even touched on the fact that it was absolutely incredible racing finals last night. I mean, Nolke was just on a rail out there in the Gator, and then in the finals, you guys started having some problems, and you're coming to the line, smoke billowing everywhere. You wanted that win. Oh, you're not a kid. You know, Doug always runs strong, and, and, and you know, we, we was watching him, you know, throughout the whole the night, and, and good grief, he was getting around there fast. And in, in the semifinal round, for whatever reason, I, I thought the transmission was kind of slipping a little bit, and we thought, well, maybe you know, maybe we just run out of gear. So we thought, well, we we'll put a taller gear in there and see what that did. And yeah, we we definitely used it up. And like I said, I knew those guys were going to be strong because we were keeping an eye on them. And, and Doug was on a rail, you know, man, he was just cutting good corners and stuff. So we knew we were going to have to pull out all the stops. And uh, you know, we got fortunate that transmission held together long enough to to get the win. Well, it was a big win, and, and that's one of the neat things about Indy this year is the new race course, uh, real challenging yeah. and real fun to watch. Um, how's that going to play out for the rest of the weekend? I mean, you guys have a little more experience with the turning courses and the real tough tracks with MLMT and all that back in the days, but these guys are going to start catching up to you for these next two shows. Oh, absolutely. You know, that's the thing. You know, I, I, th I definitely think this track is maybe a little bit better than what we had last year. You know, we're on the asphalt, and a lot of guys don't necessarily like that. But last year, you know, keep in mind we were going from the dirt to the asphalt. And for me, that, you know, that kind of that transition kind of, you know, messed with me a little bit. So at least, you know, maybe, maybe you like it or don't like it on the asphalt or whatever. But at least we're out there. So that's what, we, that's what the track is. It's the same for everybody, and we'll go with it. But, yeah, you know, um, everybody, I think when, when we looked at the map, it was kind of one of those deals you didn't want to think about it too much because you'd get lost, you know. But uh, but then once we started doing it, it actually kind of worked out kind of fun, and, and I was having a good time out there. And I know I know I was talking to Doug, and I know he was having a good time with it too. So I think everybody kind of liked it and, uh, and and was pretty excited about it after after the first night. Well, there it is, fans. Drivers love a great driver's race course, and we love watching it. And we've still got two more big shows coming up this weekend. But right now, we just once again, big congratulations to Hall Brothers Racing. Mark Hall, your 2010 champion. Well, fans, one of the incredible features we always try to bring you, TMB TV. Well, we've got a good one here this weekend in Indianapolis. We've got here Jeff Cook, legend of monster trucks, and he's got a new venture. We're going to hear all about it. But first, Jeff, you know, some of the newer school fans, they may not have heard of you. It's been a few years since you've been competing in that. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in monster trucks and some of the things you've done. Well, back in the early 90s, of course, I was a fan even at a, at a really early age. Um, just love big trucks. The bigger the better. Um, in the early 90s, I drove the uh, the old original Nightmare truck that was renamed a Thunder's truck, and then I drove one of the Overkill trucks for a while, and uh, ended up building my own truck back in '93, which was a uh, War Wagon, and ran that one, and then later on built a race truck that had more suspension and stuff, and actually kind of got out of the sport back in August of 03 was my last event and kind of have missed it a little bit and we're coming back around kind of in an old school way. Well that's it fans once you're in monster trucks you're pretty much in them from life because even if you try to step away for a while that itch is going to get back with you. Well first actually tell us a little bit about what you've been up to uh, you know in between the monster trucks. Well I got a business where we build off-road firefighting and emergency equipment and you know that's been a lot of fun but I still miss the monster truck stuff and uh and this truck here was actually the one I originally started building when I was in high school back in the 80s, this, this old Shotgun Harry truck. And uh, this winter I decided, you know, we ought to do something old school. And it's been sitting in my grandma's barn for 20 years, so we dug it out and, and finished it up and just been having a lot of fun. 
Well, you know, the old school thing, a lot of the, the motorsports is nostalgia starting to become a big thing. And that might be starting a little bit with the monster trucks. I mean, you know, Bigfoot's always preserved Bigfoot one and had that around. And then Alan Pizzo bringing back his original Predator truck. And now taking a chassis that you started way back when and finishing it up. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the tech specs on uh, Shotgun Harry. Well, we've done some things a little different than what we would have done in the 80s. I was going to put a blown big block in it back in the 80s, you know, but um, I put a Cummins diesel in it um, this year. We decided that we was going to make it where it's a little more reliable and something we can do a lot with. So we've been playing with it, doing parades at fairs, and we took it to the sand dunes in Michigan and played with it for a whole week up there. Just had a blast. I'm kind of being able to do some of the stuff that guys got to do in the early 80s with monster trucks before it turned into such a big sport and, and more of a racing type venue. So, you know, it's been a lot of fun. Well, I bet. And, you know, one of the things that a lot of the, you know, newer fans that really have a respect for the old school wanted to see for all these years and never had a chance to was a monster truck out there floating because with the tube chassis you know, and the alcohol motors, you can't really do that yeah. with one like this. And I think you may have done a little bit of that now. Yeah, we, we've played around with it a little bit. Um, we're doing a big show on October the 16th where if everything goes right, we're going to have four monster trucks floating across the lake at one time. And uh, that'll be really neat. We're going to do a lot of old school stuff at that show. And uh, it's just it, it's like reliving a childhood, basically, because I'm getting to do the things I never got to do when I got into sport. Um, when I got into the sport, it was right when the trucks were going from show truck, monster trucks, into you know fiberglass bodies and a lot of travel suspension stuff. And uh, so we're really having a lot of fun with doing this old stuff. So. Well, it's the new venture for you, and it's uh, Gas Guzzy. And uh, fans, you're going to want to put this one on your calendar uh, Saturday, October 16th. Uh, tell us uh, the when, the where, and a little bit more about this big show. Yeah, they can go to gasguzzy.com to get you know any registration information or anything. But we're up at this point, we've got seven old school monster trucks coming out. Some of them they're digging out of fence rows and out of barns, and. It, I, it's just it's awesome because these guys are calling saying man we've never had a place we can run these you know for years so can we bring them to your event and um, so we're up to seven old school trucks and two old tank trucks and uh, we're doing old school car crushing and everything it's in Auburn Indiana October the 16th the gates will open at 10 30 and the show will start at, at 12 o'clock and uh, we're doing an old school mud bog it's going to be a nice deep mud pit with tractor tire classes and stuff so hopefully you know we're hoping it's going to be a real neat deal and then we're hoping to grow it into maybe a three event deal next summer and and kind of hoping that we can actually create a series so that the guys with the old school trucks or the guys aspiring to have an old school truck can actually come out and play a little bit. Well, it really is great, fans, to see the nostalgia coming back into monster trucks. You know, the drag race fans have always had fun with that stuff. Now it's our turn, and it's Jeff Cook here with Shotgun Harry. Gas Guzzy events, they're the ones making it happen. So remember, October 16th, Auburn, Indiana is where you want to be for the 4x4 Off-Road Truck Show Challenge. And you're going to want to watch it on themonsterblog.com. We've been telling you about our new video series. Chris Parrish, the Action Track Show, is going to be in Auburn, and he's going to have all the coverage for you.